In the Islamic Republic of Iran, a lot of leisure activities are banned. But I wanted to know what really goes on there. So I turned to France 24's network of observers. They're regular people who live all over the world and who often alert us to news and send us photos. Over Skype, I started to chat with young observers in Iran. I asked them, what do you do for fun? And that's how I discovered underground Iran. In this Iran, you can do all sorts of things. For example, dance to hip hop. Except for some traditional sanctioned dances, most forms of dancing are forbidden in Iran. And yet the underground hip hop scene is flourishing. To avoid getting into trouble, performers make sure to call what they do a sport, not a dance. Young men film their moves at home or outdoors, and then they share their videos on YouTube. Dance ballet. It might not be as hip, but ballet is pretty risky too. Classes do exist at gyms, again under the guise of sport. There's so much demand that teachers come all the way over from Ukraine. Performances have to be held in secret, by invitation only. Sing while female. As you might expect, Iranian women face harsher rules than men, but I learned they're not afraid to bend them. For example, singing is banned for women, except in very rare cases. However, there are plenty of female pop stars with legions of fans. Now, to avoid getting into trouble, the singers go by pseudonyms. If you look closely at their videos, you'll notice they never really show their faces. They use all sorts of tactics to disguise themselves, like wearing sunglasses, or even painting their skin. Flex your muscles. I learned that female bodybuilding is also starting to take off. Women who bench press told me they're not allowed to hold competitions. So instead, they've been holding contests online. Participants just send in photos of their muscles. Get a tattoo. Tattoos go against Islamic law. But then again, in a country where you have to dress very conservatively in public, who's really gonna know? As it turns out, body ink has become quite popular in Iran. I talked to a tattoo artist who told me he and his colleagues work discreetly in the back rooms of beauty salons. Do parkour. I also learned that some things that used to be underground are moving into the mainstream now. At first, parkour runners practice their sport discreetly, but they say it's become increasingly accepted. Having to wear long tunics and headscarves is an added challenge for the girls but that hasn't stopped them from joining in. Some of them are really skilled. So what I found out is that underground Iran is a whole other country, a million miles away from the Iran that the rest of the world sees when they watch the news. The authorities may try to enforce all sorts of rules, but our observers showed me that Iranian society is quietly and steadily pushing forward. <laughs>